Van der Weg for Ross County. Nice sharp interplay from the home side. It falls for Jamie Lindsay. He perhaps had a little bit more time than he realised there. It's great movement from County. Won't call be very impressed with that. But could Lindsay have just taken another touch there? Kilmarnock looking to get something going. In form, two wins, back-to-back -back wins. As the ball's fed into Boyd, lays it off to Eamon Brophy. Fires it towards goal, great save, Scott Fox. Eamon Brophy very much in form, three goals in his last two games and so close to another. It's good play from Boyd, holding off the defender and Brophy finds the target, denied by Fox. On Coyle's side, desperate for a win, they've not won in four. As Kayla Dunn tries to get something going, good effort on target. Not enough to trouble Jimmy McDonald though. Young Kayla Dunn, he's confident on the ball, shows that with the effort, but just not enough. Kayla Dunn again, trying to chase a lost cause. That's loose though from Kilmarnock, it's Curran. It's fed back to Craig Curran. Oh, he tries a first time effort and he's just off target. Curran scoring against Rangers at Ibrooks at the weekend, clearly confident and just missing the target. Chris Eagles with a corner. Here's Christopher Rutis, and he's found the net. It's a good finish, but where was the Kilmarnock defence? A simple ball to the back post, no defender near him, and Kilmarnock are punished for that. Seemed the defender took his eye off the player behind him. Another set play for County, it's Jason Naismith, he loops the ball over Jamie McDonald. It's a great header, but once again, the Kilmarnock defending could be questioned. This will drive Steve Clark mad, great finish, but where was the challenge? County two up, and another opportunity here to maybe extend the lead. Chris Boyd walks out towards referee Andrew Dallas. Clearly not happy about the distance. The wall's back and he picks up a caution. Here's Rutus. Oh, and it's just over the bar. Jimmy McDonald scrambling. Rutus looking for his second of this match. Kamarnock have been in impressive form. Five goals against Partick Thistle as Dicker feeds the ball into Chris Boyd. Links up with Brophy, he's surrounded by county players, but he digs out a shot and that's a great finish from Brophy. That's his fourth goal in three games now, a man in form, and he's handed Kilmarnock a lifeline. Once again, Boyd just holding it up, holding off the defender. Brophy has a lot to do, but that's right in the corner. Scott Fox had little chance, he might have been unsighted as well. Kilmarnock back in it. Brophy plays the boy white. You can hear Owen Coyle in the background screaming for this ball to be stopped. Goes towards the byline, floats it up. Cleared by Naismith. Here's Yusuf Malumbo. It's a great strike. And it looks as though Kenny van der Weg got a vital touch there. Malumbo picking up a great position, a first time effort on target. And van der Weg sends it over. Kilmarnock come again, we've been very impressive in this second half. And Stephen O'Donnell looks for Boy once again, he goes down in the box. Kilmarnock players are appealing for a penalty. Andrew Dallas gives it the other way. I'm not sure if Boyd stumbled here as he went to turn. Yeah, it looks as though he slipped and Marcus Fraser goes over the top of him. Clearly Boyd didn't think so. Clock ticking on as Chris Burke gathers on the right, hangs one up for Chris Boyd to attack, he does so and he finds the target, I think that one came off Jason Naismith, Scott Fox stranded on his line, the ball may have deflected away from him, Boyd gets his head on it and it is the deflection that outfoxes Scott Fox, Kilmarnock back level. Jim O'Brien tries to find Andrew Davis, he gets there, but he can't find the direction and Jamie McDonald gathers. 